What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're going to be tying up a zero gravity Captain America balance leech. This is nothing new. This is just kind of an updated video. Got a little bit better lens so you can see a little bit better on the quality, but we've got an A-Rex FW550 in the vise. This is a size six. We've got the Semperfly. This is a classic six aught wax thread. I really, really like this thread for these leeches. So we're going to go ahead and start our thread. Notice how I'm holding the tag end at a slight angle. That way my wraps just slide right into each other. We'll go ahead and tear that off and then just spiral wrap back up to about where we started. I want to be kind of in the midpoint on this uh, shank. Now, I've made a template for these since I tie enough of them that I just kind of have tested it enough that I just hold it up and I know where it's at. This is a, a fire hole 3.0 uh, tungsten bead. Here's our embroidery pin. I'm going to snip it off and I snip them a little shorter now than I used to. And we're going to line that about where I want it, do about three to four loose wraps and then work our way back down towards the end. I'll make sure it's in the position for this size with this size bead. I need the bead to line up just even with the hook eye. Make sure you water test these if you want it to be balanced. The whole point of this is to be as close to balanced as possible. Uh, variating variations in materials will also affect how it rides. So key here is super glue it lay down a little bit of super glue and then I run up and down it again with my thread that way we're making this a really really durable fly we don't want this pin falling out I've personally bought some where I've had the pin fall out and it was a little bit frustrating because then um, I've got a jig and the whole point of this is to fish it suspended under an indicator and that's how I typically fish them for the tail, we're using this Nature Spear. This is the Fish Hunter Marabou. And this is why I also cut that pin a little bit shorter than I used to. I'm gonna prep this feather uh, by cutting out the tip here. And then we're going to test the fibers to see um, how wispy they get at the tips. And then I'll use a Tim uh, a Flagler uh, tip here, just kind of get those wispy tips. And I'll use my back end of my scissors to uh, basically not cut them, but uh, make them all about the same length and then we will line this up so the tail is about 1.25 the overall length of the uh, the hook with the embroidery pin and I'll go ahead and tie in that marabou on the top of the shank and then work my way back and then right where that embroidery pin ends I'm just going to hold it straight up and cut it flush that way they're somewhat tapered and then you can see right here there's no hump um, it, it leads for a really clean underbody. The embroidery pin now almost meets into the marabou and makes it just a lot uh, slimmer profile, which I think helps. For the tail, we're going to put in some red crystal flash. This is a key ingredient for the Captain America. I also do um, blue, and that would still be a Captain America but I've just found that red and blue seem to be the most effective on these. So I'll take half a strand of the crystal flash, fold it in half, tie it in on my side so that these are basically going straight down. So if we had the hook shank extended out into the tail, they would be running that way. And then uh, we'll cross it over and do it to the exact other side and have it coming down the other side of the uh, fly straight back from the hook shank and then we will take our scissors cut out our loop trim them so they're about a little bit shorter than the uh full length of the tail and there we go oh, we've got our flash in we're going to make a dubbing loop now you don't need a really really big one maybe three and a half inches just whatever you're comfortable working with and then i'll tie that off work my thread up towards the uh the hook eye cross over that and then lay down a little bit of thread here on that embroidery pin uh, this is not a these embroidery pins are not super super tough. It's not a hook shank um, So just don't really crank on that. You just want to lay down a little bit of thread We're gonna make it a little stronger here in a minute. I'm gonna take my dubbing loop tool This is the Stonfo Roto Elite and then we're going to of course uh, Lay down some super glue at this point It's key to do it at this point so that when we do our dubbing loop It's going to be a little bit wet and tacky But not enough that it's going to interfere with our our material We're using the zero gravity dubbing but we want to enforce that thread wraps, the crystal flash, the marabou to really make this kind of a strong um, core to the fly, which also helps with durability. Now we're going to be using, this is a custom blend from Snake River Fly, uh, zero gravity dubbing. They have a bunch of different colors. This is one I had to make for me because I fish a lot of this uh, uh, color pattern. And I'm just gonna pull out a nice little clump here. This looks amazing. It's a uh, black marabou mixed with some red and blue flash. And I'm going to stack it, basically aligning it and making it somewhat even. 
and then we'll go ahead and insert it into our dubbing loop and then we will spread it out the more time or more you know the more you do these dubbing loops you'll find the perfect consistency for spreading this out um, you basically want to avoid clumps but you can still work around those clumps and we'll spin it up and then I have also started to pre-brush these before wrapping it and so I just will basically take a, a, a toothbrush this is a nylon brush and then hold my finger on the underside and then brush it so that we're you can evaluate if there's any clumps uh, and then that's pretty much it this is a really uh, basic fly and we'll just spin that around the core, since the super glue is now somewhat dry, is a little bit tacky, but not going to affect these fibers. And I'll just, with touching wraps, go up the hook shank and then evaluate. You don't want to crowd the eye too much. So I did this one a little bit long, but not too long that it's going to you know, be a waste of materials. I'll do a thread wrap behind, go up and over, and then go behind again, and then use the weight of my bobbin just to hold that down. And then we will trim out our excess here of the dubbing loop and then pull all these fibers back. If you laid down a ton of glue at this point, don't put pressure on the uh, hook shank because you'll mat down all your zero gravity dubbing. Uh, so you may wanna wait for it to dry, but I'm just loosely holding those fibers back and then doing about five wraps just to clean up that head. I lay down a little bit of UV resin at this point, and this is what I think makes this a little bit stronger so that when it takes the abuse of going up against rocks and objects, uh, the UV resin will kind of keep that pin a little bit stronger. We're using some Semperfly uh, flash. This is red. I'm going to just dub it on. I love how this uh, flash dubs onto thread. It just twists on and grips it. It's super easy to work with. And we'll do about three to four wraps, building up a nice red collar here. And then we will uh, take our fingers and preen back any excess and then do a nice little black thread collar. And so we've got the red and the black segmented with the gold. I don't know why these color combos were so effective, but this has been a color combo that has saved my life. A lot of times after an evening of frustrated fishing, I seem to tie these on or uh, put it on the line at dusk and it always seems to produce trout. And we will go ahead and just uh, put a little bit more UV resin uh, to solidify that uh, thread wrap and then make sure you get a good even coverage all the way uh, around. You can also twist it and do it on the other side, but I don't, I don't do that anymore. We'll cure that up about 15 seconds to let that UV resin cure. And remember that, uh, that flash was put into some wet uh, UV resin that soaked in as well. And then the last key here is I brush it out. I kind of focus on the the underside of the hook shank here where the, the eye is, and I just kind of brush everything down away from it. And then I will evaluate if we have some super long fibers. And if I do, I just kind of pluck them out with my fingers and then we will brush it back to see how it blends into the tail. And as you can see, this is a really, really good, um, it will have a really nice taper. We'll have a little bit of a profile here and then they will taper into that marabou tail. So that there is the Captain America Zero Gravity Balance Leech. Uh, it's not my first time tying a balance leech or, or a video doing a balance leech, but this one here is a, a really killer, killer, killer combo for those evenings as the sun settings just to finish the day. So tie some up, add them to your box. Thanks for watching.